continue our conversation, I would love for us to change over to some of the questions that our Sports MBT online community have sent through to us that they would love to ask you. I would love to start off with this question from Niku. Now, Niku talks about the junior structures that you that you went through, and he talks about how important is it for one to develop through the junior structures? Yeah, I think um, that's really, really important. Um, I think junior development is so important, and unfortunately, we we still grow in in South Africa where those um, development structures need to be put into place and need to be executed correctly because it puts us at such a disadvantage compared to the rest of the world. I think we have amongst the most talented athletes in the world, and that's excluding the the junior development. So I think within netball and within any other sport, it's a um, our youth development is growing and it's growing at a steady pace and that's really going to put us at the same pace or the, give us an advantage in the future because we need to um, start giving sports women and sportsmen the opportunities at a young age to compete and, and develop so that one day when they're older and bigger they can thrive at whatever sport that they choose to. Definitely. Let's tackle this one from Nikki. Nikki talks about how challenging is it to play in a bio bubble environment as it is the new normal. And of course, COVID-19 is something that we can't avoid in the world of sports these days. How have you experienced the bio bubble environment? Well, it, it also depends on what type of bio bubble environment you're in. We've been in a bio bubble for a week. We've been in a bio bubble for eight weeks. It's a it's a major difference being in um, being with one person in one room, being with ten other people within the same um, structure all the time. So I would really say you have to really like or love your teammates first of all because um, you're going to be there or stuck with them for quite a while. But it, even though it brings its challenges, the bio bubble, I think we're all so eager and willing to play sport that you're willing to do anything, um, anything, including the bio bubble, to be able to play the sport. So even though it's our new normal, I think any athlete or any professional sportsman or woman will take that above not playing sport. Definitely. Let's talk a little bit about some of the toughest teams that you've faced. Now, this question comes through from Le Bukhang, and he's simply asking which team has always been the toughest in the Talcom Netball League and in the Varsity Cup tournaments? Well, this is uh, quite a question to answer because all the teams are great and you compete in at such a high level. But I think in the Talcom Netball League, the, the team always to face is the Jaguars, but also the Crinums because the Crinums is a team that never really, they never really accept that they've, or they never want to accept that they you've won them or you've beaten them. So a, a team like that is always hard to go up against. And then in varsity netball, I'd also, I'll stick to the same two provinces. I would say, um, the Corsis University and um, Dux University is of the or the toughest competition that you can face in a varsity netball league. Definitely. Let's talk a little bit about something that you've alluded to earlier as well. And Katleo alludes to it in this question. She simply asks, how much would it mean to you to play at the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham in England? Yes, it would be such a great opportunity, such a great honour and privilege. I mean, I said what it's like to um, represent your country, but to represent your country on such a big scale, such as the Commonwealth Games, would just absolutely be a, a dream come true. And I can't wait to, God willing, play there. One day, it might not be in 2022, I hope it is, but one day. And um, yeah, we're working hard, hard to get there. Definitely. Now, looking at your career thus far, one has to admit that it is quite short and you've got so many years ahead of you. But we all know where you started, and I mentioned it earlier, that's Worst School Noord Kaap. This question comes through from Ole Bukheng, and she simply asks for some words of encouragement. What words of encouragement would you give to the next generation that are currently playing netball at Worst School Noord Kaap? Um, words of encouragement that I would have is to always work hard, 
never give up and be patient. I, I believe in those words of encouragement because what's meant for you will, will always find you. And if God put it in his plan for you, he will always make it come true. It might not be in our time, but it will be in his time. Definitely. Absolutely well said. Jessica Duplessis, I would simply like to thank you so much for joining me on the Sports MVT Insider. And of course, I would love to thank you for being such a phenomenal brand ambassador for the sport of netball in this country. Yes, your career with the Pro Tiers has just started, but I'm certain that many South Africans would agree with me and say that your career has got many years ahead. And of course, we look forward to seeing you at the 2023 Netball World Cup representing South Africa Africa and possibly lifting that trophy on home soil. Wishing you all the best. Thank you very much, Aaron. Thank you for the kind words and thank you for having me. You're locked on to the Sport MVT Insider, a podcast for unrelenting coverage of women in sport. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I absolutely loved diving deeper into the journeys of our athletes, coaches, and administrators to get to know them a little bit better than we do. Coming up next week, we bring you another athlete, coach, or administrator, and she shares her incredible and inspiring journey with us. Keep it locked onto Sport MVT, where we celebrate women in sport.